नमस्कार दोस्तों आप देख रहे हैं 420 ट्वेंटी ग्राम्स या अगर हिंदी में बोलो 400 सौ ब्रीज ग्राम अब आप सोच रहे होंगे यार मैं इतनी शुद्ध हिंदी में क्यों बात कर रहा हूँ शुद्ध हिंदी में इसलिए बात कर रहा हूँ क्योंकि YouTube पे जो कुछ नामक लोग हैं जो कमेंट करते हैं हमारे शो पर बड़े प्यारे लोग हैं थैंक यू सो मच टू ऑल ऑफ यू लव एंड रिस्पेक्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू तो आप में से कुछ लोग कहते हैं यार हिंदी में बात करो एक बंदे ने तो कहा हिंदी में बात करा कर एग्जैक्टली लाइक दैट आपने लिखा तो मैंने सोचा यार देखो पूरा शो हिंदी में हो तो सकता नहीं है लेकिन हम कोशिश करेंगे कि थोड़ा सा शो हिंदी में बात करें और थोड़ा सा शो अंग्रेजी में बात करें मिक्सचर करेंगे जहां जहां हिंदी आ रही है हिंदी ठोक देंगे जहां जहां अंग्रेजी आ रही है अंग्रेजी ठोक देंगे 420 ग्राम के एक नए एपिसोड में आप सबका स्वागत है मेरा नाम है अर्जुन और मणिपुर में हमारा भाई सिद्धांत दैनी के साथ है फॉर्मर इंडिया कप्तान रेनेडी सिंह एक नया एपिसोड रेनेडी सिद्धांत गुड टू सी यू गाइज ये हिंदी की बात ठीक थी ना भाई जहां जहां हिंदी में बात हो रही है कर देना प्लीज जरूर जरूर तो यहाँ पे जी कोशिश करें कोशिश पे दुनिया कायम है जी उम्मीद पे कायम है भाई तो दैट इज द रीजन कि हम पूरा शो हिंदी में नहीं करते दिस वाज अ ट्रिक टू टेल यू shut down right now we can't get in touch with him the last i spoke to him was on sunday hmm. and actually a couple of days before that uh, he was driving back from a local level football tournament in baramula and reports have come in that up until sunday football was going on in srinagar but of course now there is a complete lockdown on all of that so i hope uh, i hope he's doing fine and everyone there is fine and hope to get him back on the show and get back in touch with him really soon uh, yeah we can Fair enough. Fair enough. Much love to Ishwak Ahmed. Uh, guys, uh, the reason we are here today is because the first big talking point is that Igor's team match has again announced his probables for the two World Cup qualifiers. The first one against Oman and the other one against Qatar. The one against Oman will be played at home in Guwahati, and the one against Qatar will be played away from home. Renati, boy. Uh, now this is team match's third camp. पहला camp लगा था Kings Cup के लिए. उसके बाद camp लगा था Intercontinental Cup के लिए. और अब लगाए तीसरा कैंप वर्ल्ड कप क्वालिफायर्स के लिए और उसमें जो खिलाड़ी हैं सम ऑफ द प्लेयर्स आई से हु आर बैक इन दिस कैंप अनवर अली जूनियर हु वाज पार्ट ऑफ द इंडियन एरो साइड पार्ट ऑफ द अंडर 17 वर्ल्ड कप साइड हॉलीचरण नाजरी फाइंड हिमसेल्फ इन द कैंप आशिक करोनियन फाइंड हिमसेल्फ इन द कैंप एज वेल वुड यू अग्री कि दिस इज हिज स्ट्रांगेस्ट थर्टी अब कोई मिस नहीं कर रहा है कोई इंजरी के बाजे वजह से बाहर है या फॉर्म के वजह से ऐसा कुछ लगता नहीं है कि दिस इज हिज स्ट्रांगेस्ट थर्टी टू चूज फ्रॉम Yeah I think this is the strongest because good luck to those three players who are coming in they have proof of point to get into the team but other than those three the players the almost all the players the best players of India have got a chance to prove and they all have been given a chance so la continental cup mein jo teen match mein player logo ko kafi chance mila hai or and coach knows who are the best players so i think this is the the strongest and there are not many players there are many uh, footballers uh, In, in India, but then to the best players to compete in this high level, there are not many. Hmm. But there, there are not many players, uh, good players who can compete in this level. So whatever players we have hmm. are there in the camp, and then he has to take the best 20 or 25 or 22 from there. So I have taken three players' names. There is Nazri, there is Ashik, and there is of course Anwar Ali. Do these three walk into your team then? They are in the camp. Do they walk into your team? Uh, Ashik, yes, he have done well in the past. but then it's a new coach new ideas so every single training uh, it, they have to prove so that coach can see you know of course ashik kurnyawan i think he can but the other two players are also good players nazri who have played uh, in indian team before and anwar he, he have played for the we uh, with many uh, young players like under 16 under 17 so i think but all the three players have to prove a point sidhan mere bhai i'll flip that question around a little bit now uh, india team ko in teen khiladiyon ke jo position hai सबसे ज्यादा जरूरत किस पोजीशन में एक डिफेंडर है एक मिडफील्डर है और एक फॉरवर्ड खेलता है आई मीन डिफेंडर मोस्ट डेफिनेटली दैट्स वेयर आई थिंक सी दो चीजें हैं यार एक तो आइडियली जो बैक फाइव है आपका गोलकीपर और उसके सामने जो चार हैं उनके बीच जो कम्युनिकेशन है वो पूरी टीम का फाउंडेशन है हाउ हाउ दीज गाइस मूव डिटरमिनस द एंटायर शेप ऑफ योर structure right of your team how how you defend and how you transition into attack so 
सेंट्रल डिफेंडर इज क्रिटिकल टू दैट एंड जो हमारे गैप्स हैं जो पेनल्टीज हमने कंसीड किए हैं इन द पास दे ऑल कम फ्रॉम स्टफ दैट हैपेंस एट द हार्ट ऑफ द डिफेंस सो दैट्स व्हाई द बिगेस्ट गैप इज एंड आई थिंक फॉर किड लाइक अनवर टू बी अप देयर वी सो नरेंद्र हिज बैचमेट आई थिंक मेक इट दे मेक हिज डेब्यू प्ले टू गेम्स फॉर इंडिया एट बैट so it's nice to see a little bit of competition anas is back in in the reckoning yeah i don't know what his status is in terms of fitness and things like that and whether he can uh, play a, a full game at the international level forget about i mean maybe you could start off with see the season also gets underway much later right i think hmm october These games are before the season starts so and jo pre season tournaments ab super cup nahi ho raha hai hmm तो एक तो ये है कि फिजिकली द प्लेयर्स विल हैव टाइम टू गेट रेडी फॉर द फिजिकल चैलेंज बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ मैचेस आई डोंट नो व्हाट सॉर्ट ऑफ ओ आई सपोज दैट इज द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस कन्वर्सेशन एनीवे व्हिच सो आई एम जंपिंग द गन नो दैट दैट्स अ फेयर पॉइंट बट माय माय पॉइंट रेंडी भाई इफ यू आर द कोच एंड वुड यू फर्स्टली एग्री विद सदान दैट स्टॉपर बैक इज द वन एरिया दैट रियली नीड्स टू बी फिक्स्ड तो अगर आपको फिक्स करना है कि आप एक यंग लड़के को नरेंद्र गहलोत को कि आप अनवर अली को डालोगे उस पोजीशन में जब आपका पहला मुकाबला ओमान के खिलाफ है दूसरा मुकाबला कतर के खिलाफ उन्हीं के घर में किसको डालोगे फिर नहीं पर उसको पार्टनर कौन करेगा फिर रेनडी भाई दैट्स व्हाट आई एम आस्किंग संदेश इज अ गिवन बट हु विल पार्टनर हिम पार्टनर इज दैट दैट्स अ बिगेस्ट चैलेंज एंड आई थिंक कोच विल स्टिल लुक अभी अब जो ट्रेनिंग करेगा उसमें ट्रेनिंग मैचेस ऑफ कोच विल नॉट बी एबल टू प्ले विद द बेस्ट ऑफ अ टीम्स बट देन अभी अपना अंदर में ही खेलेंगे एंड देन ही विल प्रिपेयर एंड ही विल सी व्हाट द अदर डिफेंडर्स आर डूइंग इन द ट्रेनिंग सेशन ऑफ कोर्स उसने जितना देखना है वो तो देख लिया है मैच्स में बट वेयर एज यू हैव टू सी हु आर हु आर द फिटेस्ट और इन जब कैंप होता है चांसेस ऑफ इंजरीज आल्सो दे तो हम लोग बोल नहीं सकते हैं कि अभी कौन फिट है कौन नहीं फिट है सो ही हैज टू गो फॉर फ्यू मोर डेज ऑफ ट्रेनिंग एंड आफ्टर दैट ही विल डिसाइड ऑफ कोर्स यस बिगेस्ट चैलेंज इज द स्टॉपर बैक्स बट देन अगेन वी आई थिंक इफ आशिक कुरनीवान कैन कैन रिपीट द सेम फॉर्म ऑफ व्हाट ही हैव डन इन एशिया कप आई थिंक वी वी नीड हिम इन अप फ्रंट बट रेनडी भाई सो देयर इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग इंटरेस्टिंग लिटिल बिट ऑफ कंपटीशन फॉर प्लेसेस गोइंग ऑन आई थिंक Yeah, that's a nice thing. If you want, you have you have Changte on the left, you have Ashik on the left, you have Udanta on the right. You have Brandon. Uh, you have Holy Jaren on the left. Brandon. Brandon. Yeah. Yeah. So Brandon, who has also been tried in a central role. So options and here also let me throw in the mix. I know what Pandit will say about this, but I find that uh, positionally, Subhashish Bose is. <laughs> not a bad he's he's a, he's a better player than he looks and i i feel like he, in the camp at least if he's played in a central role he will give the more established central defenders a run for their money so then ready by i'll flip that to you of what you've seen of the indian team so far who would you use to partner sandesh right now aap gehlot ko to khilaoge nahi us bacche ko in his first game versus oman matlab syria ke khilaf khel liye i mean he he have done well by scoring now, by 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 <laughs> by scoring against uh syria but then again for me it is it's, it's it's very difficult one you know and i can understand that this must be a biggest headache for for steamark our coach to pair if anas is fully fit hmm. and i think uh, i will but then again we have to see what kind of fitness he is in right now so but randy by that's my point see the thing is if you pair anas the logical choice would be anas because him and sandesh have been playing together and they are also if, the if most they are, if they are fit if anas is fit i will i will surely go for agreed for anas the most experienced two in the camp as well <clears throat> as far as defense is concerned but ideally you would have played him in a match in a 90 minute match ab aap seedha aapka pehla mukabla oman ke khilaf hai isn't it a little strange that no friendly has been organized before this uh, world cup qualifier versus oman because that's the one place you can really test if anas at a thodka is match fit मैच फिट एंड फिट में बहुत फर्क है विद नाउ इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट फ्रॉम द एफएफ साइड आल्सो टू अरेंज अ फ्रेंडली मैच विद विद से जापान और कोरिया और विद द गुड टीम्स फर्स्ट यू हैव टू अरेंज वे वे बिफोर वन ईयर टू ईयर बिफोर 
and to get a date to play with them, it, it's very difficult one, and it costs money. Mm. And it's no point. I feel it's no point play, playing Bangladesh or Nepal for a friendly match just for the sake of it, just to taste Anas. So Anas is a guy where who, who played if, who played in, uh, in in highest level at least for India in Asia Cup. Mm. He have done well. So if he get if he can get a match fitness by playing among themselves also, I think that should be good enough. Of course, yes, like you said, it will be nice if we would have got a chance to play with the best team of Asia at least one friendly before. But uh, that's that's a very difficult one. Yeah, Siddhant, from an organizational Bobby, point of view, yeah, man, is it is it actually that difficult to to pull in a team? And yeah, I'm not man. even saying I'm not saying top team of Asia, middle rung team like what India is in Asia. Yeah, well, yeah but yeah, if we, if we, jaga, uh, season bhi chal hai na. like in the colder countries, wo to they are in the middle of their season. Some some of them because summertime wo football khelte hain. To Central Asian countries ho Ab Europe mein bhi the season is going to start this weekend, I think. एशियन कप Yeah, before the Asian Cup, they had a sorted schedule. They played China away, then they played, uh, which was the team they played once they got into uh, the United Arab Emirates, and they played another game over there. So they had two high-class games, and then they went into the competition as well. My only point is that if you are going to qualify for the World Cup without any 90-minute game under your belt, or if you have not played in the first two matches with a point in your name, then somewhere or the other, it might affect what you are doing versus Bangladesh or Afghanistan. Yeah, but but I, I can understand uh, you know where where you're coming from. But for, for, uh, just for honest and few players, I, coach have seen coach ne jo dekna hai wo to wo last three match mein dekh liya. Dekh liya, dekh liya. Except honest. Yeah. So so I think it, uh, jaisa abhi wo log under me match fitness milne se I think it should be mm. should be good enough. I feel. Camp. Yeah. The, the flip side is that because we don't have season. Yeah. The coach will have the players. For a decent amount of time, and that's so. So they'll sort of have time to gel together. Hmm. I think uh, Adil Khan might have a bit of an edge going into things because simply because he's been present for the last few games and he did not spectacularly, and some decision making is still a bit whatever. But but he's growing into the role, I think, and with more games, he'll get better. Hmm. So I feel like he might uh, Adil ka thoda edge hai position mein. Also, he's gained a few years because he's got married now. So, I mean, whatever he was now, let's add ten years to that in the first month only. Yes, he's become wiser. Yeah. ठीक है. Fair enough. Okay, so that was on uh, the Indian team, guys. Now, uh, the other talking point as far as Indian football is concerned is something which hasn't happened too often, I would say, because which is the I League clubs that wrote to FIFA saying that look, what is happening right now in India is unethical and we are being sidelined. Now, generally, when these things would happen, you wouldn't expect FIFA to respond. Yahan pe FIFA ne respond. I wouldn't expect them. I'd expect a very simple, plain, you know, koi response aata hai ki we will get back to you or whatever, whatever. But this response was a very thorough response. What FIFA gave, and it was addressed to Ranjit Bajaj, I think, the owner of Minerva Football Club. He's not the full-time owner now. He's of course uh, ownership is now fifty-fifty with someone else. But mota mota response said this. that whatever is happening with the AIFF and all the dealings that are going on with the AIFF we would not like to interfere with that because the AIFF can best decide how to take future th- how to take football forward in this country so mota mota ye bol diya ki hum aapki madad nahi kar payenge now renedi bhai AIFF walon ne bola hai ki jo fifa ne hame guidelines diye hain they can't be implemented from day one wo aapko at least 3 saal chahiye which is at the end of season 10 of ISL If you are an I League club right now, and you know that season ten ke baad, yearway season mein khulega pura for a unified league, hopefully in that hope. So, ye three years, you how will you approach it as an I League club? So, as a player, as a coach, as a coach right now, all I want to see is one league. But now, it is difficult. But we have to see that there are few clubs 
who are, who, who are still looking for a sponsor. They can't really spend on the players' I League club. So until and unless you are ready, you are you are monetarily strong. I, I don't think you you can directly play uh, in ISL. So for that, no, AIFF has to take a decision in this next three years. Agar ye I League wala log like we were talking about sustainable agar ho ke tin agar minimum budget lekar agar float kar sakega hmm. to in that mean that in that three years if they can if if they can come up with a bigger sponsorship so that they can spend like what ISL are spending then it will be a par and then then from there it can go on but the biggest challenge is kaisa aap teen saal chalega sustainable with that minimum budget hmm. aur jab aap ISL mein jayega <coughs> and then with that the amount has going to be huge and then where you are going to bring those amount from and that's the biggest challenge for all the iLeague teams but already sustainable budget ka matlab ye ho gaya na ki aapke paas panch chhe foreigner hai usko teen kar do pehle foreigners ko then you start working with boys who don't get younger boys in a way bhala hi hoga of indian football because the next line of footballers will be nurtured well we are yeah. and i agree to you you know if you cut down on the foreigners yes uh, the budget will be less but then again i league there are many uh, few i league teams who Uh, who, who promise big to the players and they don't pay on time and that shouldn't happen also hmm. and and we have not heard uh, any isl team not paying on time and there are many players are, the, all the players are getting on time and that's and i'm not saying all the i league teams there hmm. are few i league teams who are paying on time and there are few i league teams who are not paying so agar ye problem na ho you know so that organization acha se chale jab tak organization acha nahi hoga when you don't have that much money it's very difficult to run for the whole year siddhant bhai uh, it's so in a sense it's it's of utmost importance that the governing body quickly comes to a decision and says look 3 years 4 years whatever the timeline is we are opening up the league because then that i league club who will look for that massive budget come the year 3 or 4 can start touching every corporate and meeting them and talking to them saying look in 4 years time we are going to the ISL so here's a guarantee that you need to give us that we can then give to of course the people running the league uh to uh, i think plan banana bahut zaruri ho gaya hai because we've been talking about this for over a decade almost a decade now where there has to be a road map etc etc this conversation has been happening since before the ISL hmm right so at each stage this it was supposed to be a planned process and at some point somewhere down the road they decided to that this process will end the doors will shut and it will remain a closed system now i think it's inevitable and fifa's response is not surprising it's the same thing that happened in the past hmm. in that they said that how leagues are operated and managed at the national federation level is the federation's issue and they are the best position they are supposed to be the best people to handle that so that there's nothing surprising about that he, i mean it's nice it's good that they have taken the time to address the issue with the club owner who must have himself written a long uh, letter to fifa to achhi baat hai baat cheez matlab it's also similar to like for we uh, come back to larger issues but it's like what india stand is on kashmir vis-a-vis the united nations right it is, it is an internal matter to be decided by citizens and the parliament of india which is a sovereign uh, state so it's the same with fifa and how the i league or the isl will happen so it has to be a compromise and wo jitna jaldi pahunche us compromise pe ki ya to ya to jo initial aane ka paisa hai wo kam ho jaye ya promotion relegation jo bhi hai unified league ki zarurat hai yaar aisa nahi chal sakta hai aap modern aapko world cup khelna hai ha waise virat kohli पीछे सब पढ़ गए थे कि क्या मजाक कर रहे हैं इंडिया में सब वर्ल्ड कप ही वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट ईस्पोर्ट्स नॉट द फीफा वर्ल्ड सो डोंट डोंट गाइस गाइस फाइनली देन आई एम जस्ट फाइनल थिंग रेनडी देन द वे फॉरवर्ड इज ए यूनिफाइड लीग बट इफ यू आर एन आई लीग क्लब ओनर राइट नाउ फ्रॉम दीस 3 इयर्स विल यू से फॉरगेट द रिजल्ट्स आई डोंट केयर अबाउट विनिंग थिंग एनीथिंग राइट नाउ आई जस्ट वांट टू स्टे अफ्लोट for when it is open i am around yeah to to stay afloat the challenge is to stay afloat you have to match a team which can win few matches otherwise if you are the last one you are going to relegate hmm. for sure i want to see all these i league teams to be in one league after 3 years playing along with all the isl teams 20 teams 
promotion relegation. But then to be in that league, I feel uh, I league teams have to be really organized in terms of facilities and infrastructure. I'm not saying that not all the I league teams are, are not organized, but few has to be way more organized than what they are right now. Yeah, definitely. And I think some of that will happen when the platform also, they, they get a common platform and the Unified League will provide that common platform. Of course, there will remain differences between, there will still be some big clubs and some small clubs. And that will depend on the size of the market, how many fans they have, etc, etc, many reasons. But uh, yeah, overall, I mean, the only way forward is that this kind of a club structure, the only way in the world mein football is on the same basis. Pe clubs ke through league system league structure ke through to i mean i think abhi 10 saal jo hum keh rahe hain ho gaya hai is baat ko karte karte to it's it is really time that the leadership in the federation and everyone get together and they reach this sort of common ground meeting ground whatever it is where more clubs are allowed into the isl system so yeah so that that's about it and uh, I think that pretty much wraps up the conversation from, from our end. Um, yeah, just a shout out, I guess, to the government to allow, while we are at it, this conversation to also reach our friends who are interested in football in Kashmir who don't have access to the internet for the moment. We are in Manipur where also uh, the internet is turned off from time to time when the situation is not great. And uh, as things are in the 21st century because of like we are able to communicate right now, you are in Delhi, we are in Imphal. I mean, this communication has become a basic necessity of life. It's in fact a pretty fundamental right. So let's hope that comes back and uh, we'll catch you again next week. Thanks. Thank you, brother. Siddhant, Renity, guys, uh, of course, uh, Wi-Fi has said the show is closed. Because it's pixelated. Hoye ja raha hai. Once again, guys, thank you so much for your time. एंड uh, आप जो सब प्यारे लोग हो इस एपिसोड को शेयर करो यार uh, हर किसी के पास पहुंचाओ हर कोने पे पहुंचाओ भारत में भारत के बाहर और ये देखिए हमारी जो ये एक एफर्ट uh, थी कि हम हिंदी में बात करेंगे अंग्रेज़ी में बात करेंगे आई होप आप लोगों को अब बुरा ना लगे क्योंकि हमने काफ़ी वक्त तक हिंदी और अंग्रेज़ी दोनों में इस एपिसोड में बात कराया सो ऑफकोर्स विल सी यू गै नेक्स्ट वीक सेम टाइम सेम प्लेस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग गुड बाय Thank <laughs> you.